Hey guys, Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at levels of measurement when it comes to statistical data. There are four levels of measurement. We call them nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. I use the acronym NOIR, N-O-I-R, not only to remember the four, but to remember their order. So the levels of measurement add on to one another. So we start with the first level, which is nominal. Nominal is for qualitative data. Okay, and nominal uh, data is simply categories. Okay, so in nominal data, we can't do anything with the data in terms of putting it in order. It is strictly, we can take the data and put it into separate categories. When we move up to our second level of measurement into the ordinal, this one is also for qualitative data. And in this case, it has all of the qualities of nominal data, but now we can place it in order. Okay, so an example of nominal data, let's go back and grab an example. An example of nominal data might be the color. Uh, so let's say we're talking about jerseys, for example. The color of the jersey would be nominal. We can't put it in order, it is strictly a category. An ordinal piece of data might be the size of the jersey. Okay, so that's still a category, like small, medium, large, extra small, extra large, that kind of idea. But now we're able to put those categories in an order that is meaningful. If we move up to the third level, we get the interval level. So this one is now for quantitative data. And now we are interested in the interval between things, meaning that subtraction makes sense. So an example of interval data, if we stick with our jersey example, might be the number on the back. So if I have jersey number seven and my friend has jersey number 10, then there are three numbers between our jersey. We can talk about the interval between our jerseys. And then the highest level uh, in our order here is ratio level. So with ratio level, we have all the qualities of nominal, ordinal, interval, but now we add on, certainly we're dealing again with quantitative data. Now we add on the idea of something being double or something being half as much being meaningful. So a ratio is meaningful. Okay. I can't really think of ratio data with the jersey example, but ratio data might be like height of the players. So someone being twice as tall is meaningful, right? Or the age of the players, that might be something that's ratio. I am twice as old or I'm 1.5 times as old as another player. The other thing that we want to note with interval and ratio that can be helpful in determining the difference is how zero plays a role. So in interval level data, zero is just a placeholder. It does not mean the absence of something. It doesn't mean you have zero of that item versus in the ratio level, zero is an absence of something. It's an actual measure. Um, so being zero years old, you, you were just born, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna return to our data set that we looked at in our qualitative and quantitative video, and we're going to now 
take each of these categories, uh, each of these data points, and we're going to talk about its level of measure. So when we talk about our country, uh, all of these are from USA, but when we're talking about country, country we said was qualitative data, so it might be nominal, it might be ordinal. So what we need to ask ourselves is, does it make sense to put countries in order? Well, no, a country is just a category that the data can be placed in. So this one would be nominal data. It is qualitative data for which ordering the data values doesn't make sense. All right, a very similar conversation can be had for region. Region is qualitative data, so it might be nominal or ordinal, but because we can't put the states or the regions in this case in order that would make any sense, uh, this is nominal data. Our data year is quantitative, so it could be interval or ratio. Here we have to ask ourselves, does subtraction make sense between the data values? And then also, does division make sense between the data values? So in this case, um, subtraction does make sense, right? So talking about the fact that the second data point right here taken in 2018 was taken two years after this first data point. So this, the interval between these two data values is meaningful. Now, if we were to do 2018 divided by 2016, whatever value that gives us, one point something, that isn't meaningful in this case, which means that a ratio of the values doesn't make sense. So this would be interval level. When we talk about the grade that students are in, the same can be said, the same argument that we just made with data. The difference in, or the interval between them, 11 to 6, that's five grades apart. That's a meaningful uh, statement. But 11 divided by 6, or 6 divided by 11, that is not a meaningful value when it comes to what grade you're in. It, you wouldn't say anything like, I'm in double the grade you are. That doesn't make sense. So this one is interval. When it comes to gender, gender here is a qualitative data value or data type. So that is going to be either nominal or ordinal. We would not order gender. There's no putting things first or last in gender. So that one will be nominal. When we get to age, that is quantitative. So that can either be interval or ratio. Talking about interval, we know that being four years older, like the difference here between the first and the second, that is meaningful. But also noticing that these last two, the, the student in the last one is twice as old as the student in the second to last. That is a meaningful statement. I am twice as old as you. So that means that the ratio is also meaningful. So this is a ratio level data. Whether you're right-handed or left-handed is qualitative, so that would be either nominal or ordinal. In this case, we can't put right and left-handed in order, so that means that is nominal. When we talk about height, foot length, and arm span, all of those are measures in centimeters. Certainly, um, knowing, noticing that the first two data values are 15 centimeters apart, so the interval there is meaningful, but also someone being twice as tall as I am, or half as tall as I am, or thinking of foot length, having a foot that is 1.5 times my foot length, all of those are meaningful. So all of these three fall into the ratio level. Number of languages spoken, okay, we can do one, two, three, four, so that is quantitative, could be interval or ratio. Thinking about you speaking five times as many languages as me, that's a meaningful statement, so this one is ratio. Mode of travel to school, those are qualitative, so it can be nominal or ordinal. I can't put car, walk, bus, those, I can't put those in any kind of order, so that would be nominal. 
And then travel time to school is quantitative. It is numerical. Um, so we want to say, okay, does the interval make sense? Yes. This third data value, they have to travel seven minutes more than the first and second data value. That does make sense. Also saying that um, this 15 minute travel time is almost double this eight minute travel time. That's also a meaningful statement. So this one is ratio level. So when you're looking at a data, a set of data and all these different categories, break it down first into quantitative versus qualitative, and then ask yourselves for qualitative, can I put it in order? Yes or no? If you can, it's ordinal. If you can't, it's nominal. When you're looking at quantitative, does the ratio make sense? If so, it's ratio. Does only the interval make sense? Then it would be interval. All right, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.